Hello, my name is Ava from HeyYoAva.com and I'm going to show you how to create a landing page with MailChimp. So the first thing you want to do is create your MailChimp account if you don't already have one. Pretty simple, just go to MailChimp.com and follow the prompts. Once you do that and you log into your MailChimp account, you're going to get dumped right here on your dashboard. And the first thing you want to do is create a list. So just click list, create your list, follow the prompts, name it, and then you're ready to go with building your landing page. Now you can build a landing page to begin gathering email leads even if you don't have a website. So what we're going to do is click the blue create button and here you can see this is kind of where you can create everything MailChimp has to offer. You can send out an email to your your list here. You can create an ad which I believe is connected with Facebook. You can create a landing page or their newest feature you can create a postcard. And that's why I like MailChimp because they're always there it's it's easy to use which I think you'll see from from this video but they're always adding new things as well and I think I think actually their landing page fig feature is something that they've added in the last six months or so so we're gonna click on create a landing page and you'll see here you can you can create just a an opt-in form so you can collect emails or you can actually do a product landing page we're going to concentrate on getting email leads so I'm just gonna type the name of my page here and I'm just gonna make this um, something to help me know what this page is for and I put together I have a product that I put together for my podcast listeners just kind of as a free giveaway type thing and I'm just going to create a landing page for that and it's a, an ebook about learning WordPress so I've put my name in there whatever you know this should be something that you can remember what the landing page is what it's doing that kind of thing so um, then I'm going to select the list that, that and this would be the list you created when you logged into your MailChimp account. So I'm just going to use my main list and then click begin. And the landing page builder will open up. And as you can see this is fairly simple. You can change your background color here and you can also add a nice high resolution background image if you want to. Uh, you can see the the example here in the lower right corner and I'm sure they have some some great tips and whatever there I'm just gonna go with what I'm gonna go with you don't have to have a logo you can replace this whole thing here with a giant background image if you want to if you if you need to get rid of the, any block you can just click the trash can and that will disappear um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one I'm gonna click the edit and then we're going to replace the image with one that I just already have. This was just a quick thing I created for something else in Canva. And I'm just going to reuse that. It's basically just a open up Canva, put in a background, and a type over that. So now we're ready to do our headline. And what you need to do for your landing page is have something that you're giving away that's relevant to your niche, whatever that is. So in this example, we'll use, you know, self-publishing because that's kind of the audience I'm creating this video for anyway. So let's say you have, you know, five books on Amazon that you kind of want to promote. Uh, but you want to gather email leads at the same time. What you'd want to do is put together uh, a PDF of, you know, five or ten pages of something. It can be, and it doesn't have to be five or ten pages. It can be a one-page checklist. You know, these are the things you need to do before you publish your book or you know whatever it can even be like a say you're a romance writer it can even be like a, a five page sampler of your romance like a short story or something just to give people something in exchange for their email address it needs to be irresistible so um that's what you want to have waiting in the background so i have a 135 page ebook uh 
and it's about learning WordPress and it's chock full of screenshots and that kind of thing. Um, so that's what this page is going to be about for me. So I'm going to go ahead and type my headline. All right, so there's that. And now I'm just gonna edit this little bit of copy here. Uh, wow. <laughs> All right, so Grammarly is screaming at me here, so we'll see. We'll fix that. And here, this is just a matter of aesthetics. I'm just going to go ahead and center this text up so it looks nice. You can see there's a nice, robust uh, editor here. So there's that. So here you can see pretty much the whole of this landing page. Now here you can actually edit your form. I like to include the first name on mine and I'm going to actually move that up over the email address if it will let me. It might not. It's giving me a hard time. So we want and I and I want that to be a required thing as well. Let's see. It's just, it just doesn't want to let me move that around. Okay, well we'll just leave it the way that it is. So there you have it. And you can also, you can change the color of your buttons and, and everything like that. So, um, I like to change this generic subscribe to something, let's say. There, and there's just a generic confirmation message in here, which you can edit, but I usually just leave it the way it is. And then you can go over, and here's where you can change the color of your button and that kind of thing. So there's that. And then, yeah, so there's those settings. I'm just going to leave everything the way that it is. I mean, I like the way this looks just fine. Once you're satisfied with the way yours looks, just click Save and Close. And we're going to click Save and Continue down here in the corner. Now, here with your page title, this is what appears in your browser tab up here like where it says landing pages slash MailChimp that's that's where this appears so I'm just gonna put that and save it uh, you can actually make a URL here save it we like to have all our checks and balances here and really that's gonna do it and so I'm gonna go ahead and publish my landing page all done so when I click this we can have a look at it this is what it looks like and now I can use this link provided to me by MailChimp to send people to my capture page so you can share this on social media, you can share this in the description of YouTube videos, you can share this in the back of your books and you can use this like a, you know, hey, if you want to be a part of my advanced reading team, sign up to this list. 
Uh, if you want to get, you know, if you want to read my blog, here's where it is. If you want, you know, whatever, it just needs to be relevant to your tribe, your whatever it is you're doing. So there's that. Now, the next thing is how in the world do you get your ebook going out to people? And to do that, you're going to have to set up some automation, which I believe is, y'all bear with me for a second, because I mean, I, it's not like I'm in MailChimp every day. Uh, let's see. I guess maybe create an email. Yes. Okay. So click your blue create button again. And this time you're going to select create an email. And this is going to be my learn WordPress. All right. And this is the email that's actually going to deliver them my ebook. So. I'm going to select automated because I want this to happen. Why won't this go away? I want this to happen when they sign up. So this is going to be sort of a welcome for new subscribers. And again, that's going to go out to my main list. This needs to be the same list that you set up for your For your ebook, click begin. Okay, and now you can see it's set up a trigger here. You want to change this. I like to change it to so that it's immediate because I know when I sign up for a list, I want to get whatever it is right away. So we're going to make it immediately and we're going to update our trigger and then go in and design our email. Actually, I'm going to just going to copy and paste the same thing right down here. And just for the sake of time, I'm not taking a lot of time on these things. You should actually take the time to craft whatever you'd like to see here. So this preview is actually what appears in their inbox beside your email, kind of giving them a preview of what you're writ you've written. So yeah, make it good. Click next. And I'm just going to select a save template, whatever I have in here. Actually, let's go back. I just want a simple like this one column and you'll notice this looks a lot like the landing page thing so same deal search your image design your email and I'm not, I'm not going to go through this whole process because the video is running kind of long. But here you would just say, here's your, um, here's your ebook. And I'll show you how to attach it really quick. So just go here, click the hyperlink. And here you want to click the link to drop down, select file, and then you just click upload, navigate to your file, which here's mine, upload it, and you can do up to 10 megabytes here. So that's pretty generous. 
uh, I believe this 135 page ebook is actually about half that so just to give you an idea and it is full of screenshots so now I've I've attached that file to this email and it's got my link in there so I'm going to insert that and it's going to hyperlink that so the moment they open this email and they click that blue link it goes straight to the ebook save and close save and continue and I believe we're done so click the blue next we've got our list in there it's going to be tracking our opens and all of that stuff good good Uh, let's see before you get you need to resolve the issues below all right I don't like my placeholder text so so much for the sake of time All right, let's try this again. Obviously, you'd want this to look a lot better than this. So there we go. I'm going to click Next. And I'm all done. I've got all my checks and balances here. Everything's green and good to go. I'm going to click Start Workflow. You're about to start this workflow, which contains one email. And that's going to, it tells me what list it's going to send out. And I'm going to go ahead and start that. And that's it. I'm done. So now if you click over on campaigns, you'll see your new stuff here. So here's your landing page right here. It's got one visit where we viewed it a while ago. And then here is your email that's sending. Now let's say that you made some kind of mistake with any of this and you want to get rid of it. You can edit it from here. You can view the report which gives you a lot more stats than opens and clicks you can make a new email just like that one and you can edit it or you can click here and I'm gonna delete this one since it wasn't fleshed out and looks horrible I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and I will at a later time create a better email to deliver my ebook so I'm gonna check here and then I'm just gonna click delete and they say an automation can't be deleted okay so we have to pause it pause it first so I'm gonna click edit pause and edit and then we'll go back out to our campaigns when it lets us click something all right so this is showing paused now should be able to delete it without any problems there we go and they want you to type this you can tell that I've deleted things here many times because it's already there for me and just click delete and that's gonna delete that email and that'll keep your your campaign dashboard here all nice and clean so that's how you create a landing page in MailChimp even if you don't have a website you can begin building your list and then once your websites done you can continue to use your landing page you can put a form on your website or you can use both it's just a matter of setting that up so if you made it this long thanks for watching and I hope this helps you out have a great day and I will check you later